Like many cities across America, the city of Hattiesburg, Mississippi has a rich history with many neighborhoods that have their own unique personalities. Tonight, reporter Jacqueline Coleman takes us down memory lane in one of the most historic neighborhoods. Walking down memory lane, longtime resident Sheila McCray remembers those who paved the way for so many right here on Mobile Street. Mobile Street is rich in history. So we had role models not only from our home, consisted of our mom and dad, but just stepping out our doors, walking down the street. Every year, community members gather for the annual Mobile Street Festival to relive the glory days of a once booming part of the city. Doctors, dentists, barbers, grocery stores, and even a movie theater grace the streets in the Mobile Street area, creating a strong community bond. Whilst we all knew each other, we were like one happy family. Kids played happily, teenagers socialized, and on Sunday afternoons after church services, we could get in a group and walk to the local Smith Drug Store. The Smith Drug Company was a place to fellowship with neighbors, but it also played a prominent role in educating African Americans during the Civil Rights Movement. Mobile Street owners led the charge in meetings that often unfolded in churches and businesses. Last year, the city marked this spot on Mobile Street to honor 15 black men who took a bold step in the fight against injustice. We see this marker, there are 15 men who took a stand to become instrumental in getting us the right to vote. McRae's parents, Von Seal and R.C. Woods, raised seven children in the Mobile Street area. Her grandfather, Moses Bourne, owned a barber shop. He barbered on Mobile Street for over 50 years. He not only barbered in a building on this side of the street, the Woods Building, but he barbered in another building on the other side of Mobile Street. For many, Mobile Street may not be the same booming scene it was years ago, but it will always be remembered as the business and entertainment center of the black community. Celebrating Black History Month, I'm Jacqueline Coleman reporting.